What up everybody, Larry here at FEC. I got an unboxing today. It's a mystery unboxing because I don't know what's in it. So I got, I received a box in the mail today from my boy, Slasher Junkie, um, AKA Paul. Um, if you don't know Paul, go check him out on YouTube, at Slasher Junkie. Um, you can also find him on Instagram, Slasher Junkie 84. But yeah, go give him a sub if you haven't. So I don't know what he sent me. But it's a big fucking box. So let's find out together. Paul has sent me, I believe this is the third box he sent me before. Always fucking amazing stuff. So um, definitely excited to see what's in here. Really good friend of mine. Um, you can also see him on. He's one of the members of the Horror Holics. So, like by sides here, you know we have our uh, group of about six or seven of us, I believe, maybe eight. I don't remember. But um, we have eight members where we do a bi-weekly show, live show, called the Horror Holics, and he's a fellow Horror Holic with me and the other guys. In fact. Not this, not today. Today is Saturday. Next Saturday, um, we have a show and we will be reviewing my movie pick, Uncle Peckerhead. And Paul will be on the show with me. So, yeah. All right. We got um, a bunch of uh, paper towels. <laughs> now, that's some good packing material right there. Paper towels. I mean, I should use those. I feel like a magician. There we go. Okay, I'm not gonna look. Let me just try to reach in here and see. Okay, awesome. I feel a mask in here. That's fucking awesome. I love some DVDs and shit, movies, which is awesome. I love me, my fucking movies. I love collecting DVDs, horror, horror DVDs. Let me just pull one up. First we have Burning Bright. Don't know this movie. I don't have this movie. Uh, it's about, it looks like a killer, I'm not gonna like read the whole thing, but it's about, I guess like a killer tiger, yeah. She just learned her stepfather pilfered her college fund to buy a tiger for his safari park. Oh, cool. It's a good one, good start. One well, for one that I don't own. Second, we have, what is that? Creatures from the Abyss. I don't have this one definitely either. That, that's some, I love that artwork though. You know, normally when you see shit like this, it's either an old ass movie that has been redone or, you know, it's an independent movie. And independent movies always have the best cover artwork. Uh, let's see. So this one. It doesn't say when it came out, so I really don't know. It looks like it may be from the 80s era. I don't know anybody in it, but I'm not going to read about it either. But it looks cool. Two for two. Next we have... Tarantulas. What was that? The Deadly Cargo. I know the uh, VHS of this can go for a pretty decent penny. But um, I don't have this movie, of course, and so I'm definitely happy to get that in my collection. I actually have not seen it, so I actually want to watch this. I'm gonna, I got basketball games today out of town for my daughter, but tomorrow in between, or maybe tonight after football games, I might check that one out. Next we have The Burrowers. So this one looks cool, looks like a western. Uh, in fact, I've seen this one. Okay, yeah, I saw this before. I've seen this one before, um, but I don't own it. That's awesome. Ooh, Rocktober Blood. Awesome. Well, I definitely don't have this one. It's uh, definitely have to put that in the collection. Sweet ass mask. Love that one. <clears throat> oh, Cameron's Closet. Okay, very good movie love this movie I don't own it but I do really like this movie and I recommend it if you haven't seen it killer movie cemetery gates I 
think I have this movie. I'm not sure. It looks eerily familiar. I I, I know I have to, I have to have this movie. I think it was one I got from like when Blockbuster was closing down or something. So I'll check it out. And <coughs> I already said it's got Reggie Bannister in it. But I'll check it out. And if not, then I've got a giveaway for the upcoming show. Another one. Oh, Demons 3. The Ogre. Awesome. Never seen this one. Don't have it. Another one. We have Primal Rage. Bigfoot Reborn. Cool. I don't have this. So far, there's only one movie that I think I already own. Oh, there's still a bunch more. Damn. Next, we have Pinocchio's Revenge. Okay, I do like this movie. I don't own it. I've only seen it on TV. I think it was on IFC back when I watched it, back in the days. Next, we have Girls' Night Out. Awesome. I love this fucking movie. I actually have a custom-made figure from this movie of the killer bear in the costume. Fucking awesome. I don't have it. Definitely love that one. Next, we have... Zipper face. Okay. <coughs> um, haven't seen it. Sounds so fucking familiar for some reason, even though I don't know it. I should know it. I have to know this from somewhere. Maybe it was just from people posting about it in the Horrorholics Facebook group. Which also, if you're not a member of, go uh, join us. Fire in the sky. Amazing fucking movie. Don't own the movie until now. Alright. Oh, I think I found one more DVD. Ooh, Black Roses. So, I don't think I have this movie. And if I do, it's diff definitely a different cover. Oh, God. I don't know. This is crazy. Anyways. Alright, so... Oh, no, there's still a couple more DVDs. Husk. Don't own it. Definitely will watch it. Killer Scarecrows. Tiki. I know I do have this one. This is a full moon movie. Um, so, definitely, we'll go to a giveaway. Uh, let's flip around before I look at the mask. God damn, there's more DVDs in here. Okay. Next, we have... Billy Club. Now, I don't know about you, but that looks fucking awesome. Movie probably sucks. Probably independent movie and it probably sucks, but that right there is what fucking draws you in to buying a, a shit movie. That looks so cool. Ants, the picnic is ruined. Definitely will check that out. That's an old movie. 77, yep. <coughs> Brian Dennehy, Alien Abduction. Don't know. All right, sorry about that. I ran out of uh, storage space on my phone because I use my phone to record because it's better quality video. Anyways, ran out of storage space, so then I had to go spend the last 20 minutes deleting shit to make room to finish this video. So, let me get back to it. <coughs> So, I believe all that is left is a mask. This is a note or something in here. I can't fill anything else. So, let's get to the mask. I don't know what mask Paul would have sent me. He does have, like, a fucking amazing mask collection. He's he's collected over the last couple years fucking some amazing fucking pieces. And, um, so, sometimes, when you don't have so much space, you have to get rid of some stuff to uh make room for your better shit so i will happily take anything he sent me and um i really appreciate it i actually like if you can't tell half my room's empty because i'm like moving stuff around getting rid of stuff so my mask collection actually just went down by about eight masks so i have room for a fucking new one so mask is pretty damn big i'll tell you that <clears throat> We have, oh, oh, fuck, 
So we have Dr. Tongue. That fucking looks awesome. Damn. So I'm not sure. I, I think this is tr uh, Trick or Treat Studios. I'm not sure though. Um, if it is, it's one of their best ones because <laughs> I've got a lot of shit Trick or Treat Studios mess. That looks fucking good. So Day of the Dead, Dr. Tongue. I love me some George Romero zombie movies. You know, it hits my all-time favorite director. George Romero zombie movies are my favorite. Oh, that's fucking sick. Dude, Paul, appreciate that, man. I'm pretty sure this is Trick or Treat Studios. I could be wrong. I'm not big into, you know, my knowledge of masks is pretty much Trick or Treat Studios. <laughs> Ghoulish Productions, shit like that. Oh, man, that's awesome. Looks really fucking good, though. Looks really fucking badass. I do have a spot for this. The only problem is now I gotta find me a bub mask to go with it. Oh, looks so good. Paul, I really fucking appreciate it, man, for everything. I mean, like I said, I'm happy with just DVDs because that's my, that's my main thing right now is just DVD collection. It's a lot cheaper and you get a lot more out of it. That's fucking amazing, though. Let me make sure there's nothing else in here. No note or anything. Nope, that looks like that's it. So, everybody, please like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that bell for notifications. Go to Slasher Junkie um, here on YouTube and subscribe to him if you haven't. Uh, go to Slasher Junkie 84 on Instagram. If you have an Instagram, subscribe to him on there. Follow him, whatever you call it. I'm not worried about my Instagram. I, I never get on there. Um, also, go uh, hit up the Horror Holics. Like I said, this uh, where we show this Saturday, this coming Saturday, a week from today. Um, so go check us out. I'll be on there with Paul and some others. Uh, yeah, but man, Paul, love you, brother. Um, appreciate everything. And uh, for the rest of y'all, deuces.